All right, so the final parts for the real grade Blue Justice is going to be the weaponry. And as you can see, this part has already been taken care of, it's already done. But we will need to put this trim part over it, like so. Just find the... goes over here. into place like that. And then you have this part here. I'll go right over it like that. Snaps into place. And I've already put the clear part here. Just find the orientation and then stick it in. Yeah. So the beam rifle is done. And then, of course, I'm going to open these hands, stick it into the notch here, and then close it up. So there you go. So the beam rifle is done. And as for the shield, I'll take this part, put on that. The white trim parts goes here. Another dark trim part here. Acceptance of the haze fine. Oh, then you need the, the yellow part here. Flip this about, and you want to take this, align that with this peg here. Make sure it goes all the way in. Then close it up. And then finally you have this part, which is the, um, you know, where the uh, suit grabs onto it. And then you have this part here, which you, of course, you align it with the arm. And there you have it. The shield and the beam rifle is now complete. Okay, let's now move on to the final build of the Blue Justice Gundam. Okay, everything is all done, so to speak. We're now going to do final build of the Justice Gundam. Now, Blue Justice. So first things first, let me get the legs done. Legs are on, and we have this part here that supposedly goes like this, or is it the other way? No, it's the other way, sorry. And then I take these, and as you can see I put the beam saber uh, hilt inside. Snap this into place. Come on, get in there. Whoops. Probably a bit good idea to pull it out and put it in. Okay, it went in. Doesn't feel like it snapped, but it in it's in. That snap, so that was pretty good. Put it in there like that. So it goes in nice and smooth. I'm going to put this in. Like that. I didn't paint this yet, but I will paint it eventually. So for now, we'll just put it on. And get the head in. And then... You just turn this in there. Stick it in there, and... 
tilt it. If it can go in. Good. Hold it in. Good. So there it is. Blue Justice is now fully built, but we're not done yet. We have the arm, the shield, I mean. Put that in there. Uh, I have to remove this. I hate that. So then you can put this in there. Oh, it doesn't go, it doesn't fit on that. That's strange. Alright, we'll just leave it the way it is for now. I guess it's, uh, it favors the manipulator hand, so we'll see about that. So we'll put, bring that there. I'll just somehow manipulate it in here. Then I'm going to remove this hand and put the beam saver hand here. And there you have it. So there's blue just uh, my blue Justice Gundam all fully built. But now we need to put this on. And I'll just. Stick that like that. And I knew that was going to be a bit of a problem. I think it's in. There we go. All right. It is in. And by the feel of it, it is completely back heavy. So let me just put this here for now. And let's admire this kit. As you can see, the blue, sky blue. The reddish pink, the NATO black, and the yellow trim came out pretty well. Especially the white, of course. Wow. That's pretty good. Back. Oh, V fin came up. Here's the the back end. I noticed some problems has arisen from this build, but this build is not done yet. Not done yet at all. All right, so. One of the many features of this, of course, is if you have to flip this down. First of all, be careful with the head. You may have to, I well, might as well remove this. Stick this down like that. Pull it out a bit. If you have to. And then pull out the wings, so it's in flight mode. Let me just put this thing back. But there's a feature that this kit comes with. And that is this, that you can stick in here. There we go. And this will hold the backpack into place. So you don't have to worry about it um, falling down or anything like that. There we go. That shield needs to be fixed. as you can see right there. Looks pretty good. So the final part of this is of course if we remove the backpack 
First of all, we remove this. Then remove the backpack. Like so. Flip, remove, you know, bring this in like that. And then flip this back. We have the exposed seating, or the steps of the, uh, of the, um, <clears throat> backpack flying unit. And there, I'm glad that they did not use some sort of climb, um, snapping feature. This one, you just need to put it in and then push it back and then it'll hold into place. Ingenious. And then you can bend the knees a bit if you have to. I'm going to try to bend it fine. There we go. And do the scene where it's flying about. And then there's a part under there that you have to put in for this um, the stand, so it can be on a um, on a um, you know in flying mode like that. But this is actually actually this is actually one of my favorite poses. Wow, this is kind of cool. Well. Some pros and cons. Pros is okay with everything else that I've done. The only thing that I did not do, which I did promise, and I am promising this, I am panel lining this. However, I want to, I want to like uh, cover it up with, um, with the top coat first, so that way it, it seals in the paint. There is some inconsistencies with certain parts, with some of the paint. Um, this part, the sled, is still has some open gaps, so I'm going to try to reopen it and close it back up again, and then glue it up, so that way it's sealed up properly. Then I'm going to re-airbrush the parts again. The body on the entire Justice Gundam, Blue Justice Gundam, is complete, done, and is beautiful. But I want to, you know, um, seal, uh, primer, um, excuse me, cover up with primer. Um, excuse me, with sealant, top coat. Then I will, um, you know, panel line it. This will take some time. I have a lot of time. I have over a month. I have close to a month now, so I can I can do this at my leisure. And then I have the decals, but after putting on the decals on the eyes, I realize it's not going to look good with this, especially those little plastic that will peel out. So I'm going to order water slide decals that I saw online, and I'm going to put it on this. Once it's been decaled, once it's panel lined, it'll be sealed up again, and it'll be done. And considering how it looks, I'm going to probably leave it in, in flying mode like that. It looks pretty good. I really enjoyed this. This came out really nice. So I am done for now. I will proceed on touching this kit up during the course of the month of March and I'll have it ready for MosquitoCon. So I'd like to thank you all for um, watching this video build and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Take care.